The Isle of Wight or Elevati, is a county in the largest and second most populous island of England. It is located in the English Channel, about four miles off the coast of Hampshire, and is separated from mainland Great Britain by the Solent. The island has several resorts which have been holiday destinations since Victorian times. Until 1995, like Jersey and Guernsey, the island had a governor, home to the poets Swinburne and Tennyson and to Queen Victoria, who built her much-loved summer residence and final home Osborne House at East Cowes. The island has a maritime and industrial tradition including boat building, sail making, the manufacture of flying boats, the world's first hovercraft and the testing and development of Britain's space rockets. The Isle hosts annual festivals including the Festival and the Isle of Wight Festival, which, in 1970, was the largest rock music event ever held. The island has well-conserved wildlife and some of the richest cliffs and quarries for dinosaur fossils in Europe. The Isle of Wight was a part of Hampshire until 1890, when it became an independent administrative county. Until 1974 it continued to share its Lord Lieutenant with Hampshire, when it was reconstituted as a non-metropolitan ceremonial county which gave it its own Lord Lieutenant and was recognised as a postal county. The quickest public transport link to the mainland is to and from South Sea by hovercraft while five ferry services shuttle across the Solent. History Neolithic Isle of Wight There are theories that during the Neolithic era Boldena was an active seaport that supported trade with the Middle Easters. Wheat was present here 8,000 years ago, hundreds of years before wheat was grown anywhere in Europe. Bronze and Iron Age Isle of Wight The Isle of Wight is first mentioned in writing in geography by Ptolemy. Bronze Age Britain had large reserves of tin in the areas of Cornwall and Devon and tin is necessary to smelt bronze. At that time the sea level was much lower and carts of tin were brought across the Solent at low tide for re-export, possibly on the Ferriby boats. Anthony Snodgrass suggests that a shortage of tin, as a part of the Bronze Age collapse and trade disruptions in the Mediterranean around 1300 BC, forced metal workers to seek an alternative to bronze. During Iron Age Britain, the late Iron Age, the Isle of Wight would appear to have been occupied by the Celtic tribe. The Jurotridges, as attested by finds of their coins, for example, the South White Horde and the Shalfleet Horde, southeastern Britain experienced significant continental immigration that is reflected in the genetic makeup of the current residents. As the Iron Age began the value of tin likely dropped sharply and this likely greatly changed the economy of the Isle of Wight. Trade however continued as evidenced by the remarkable local abundance of European Iron Age coins. Roman Isle of Wight Caesar reported that the Belgi took the Isle of Wight about 85 BC and named it Ictus. The Roman historian Suetonius mentions that the entire island was captured by the command of Vespasian, who later became emperor. The remains of at least five Roman villas have been found on the island, including one near Gernard which is submerged. First century exports were principally hides, slaves, hunting dogs, grain, cattle, silver, gold, and iron. Ferriby boats and later Blackfriars ships likely were important to the local economy. At the end of the Roman Empire, the island of Ectis became a Jutish kingdom ruled by King Stuff and his successors until AD 661 when it was invaded by Wolf here of Mercia and forcibly converted to Christianity. When he left for Mercia the island is reverted to paganism. In AD 685 it was invaded by Cadwalla of Wessex and can be considered to have become part of Wessex. The resistance to the invasion was led by the local King Arwald and after he was defeated and slain, at Kydwaller's insistence, White became the last part of the English lands to convert to Christianity in AD 686, after Alfred the Great made the West Saxon kings the kings of all England, it then became administratively part of England. The island became part of the Shire of Hampshire and was divided into hundreds as was the norm. From this time the island suffered especially from Viking predations. 
Alfred the Great's navy defeated the Danes in 871 after they had ravaged Devon and the Isle of Wight. Middle Ages The Norman conquest created the position of Lord of the Isle of Wight. Carisbrick Priory and the Fort of Carisbrick Castle were founded. The island did not come under full control of the crown until it was sold by the dying last Norman lord, Lady Isabella de Forty Biz, to Edward I in 1293. In 1374, the Castilian fleet, led by Fernand Sanchez de Tovar, the first Lord of Belves, sacked and burned the island. The lordship thereafter became a royal appointment. It is sometimes said that there was a brief interruption when Henry de Beecham, first Duke of Warwick, was in 1444 crowned King of the Isle of Wight with King Henry VI assisting in person at the ceremony, placing the crown on his head. With no male heir, the regal title supposedly expired on the death of Henry de Beecham in 1446, but there is no good evidence for this story, and it is considered baseless. The French landed an invasion force on the island on 21 July 1545 but were rapidly repulsed by local militia. English ships were engaged in battle with the French navy, and it was two days earlier, on 19 July, that the Mary Rose was sunk. Henry VIII, who developed the Royal Navy in its permanent base at Portsmouth, fortified the island at Yarmouth, Cowes, East Cowes, and Sandown. Much later, after the Spanish Armada in 1588, the threat of Spanish attacks remained and the outer fortifications of Carisbrook Castle were built between 1597 and 1602. Hammond was appalled and imprisoned the king in Carisbrook Castle. Charles had originally intended to flee to Jersey, but became lost in the New Forest and missed the boat. Seven Years' War During the Seven Years' War, the island was used as a staging post for British troops departing on expeditions against the French coasts such as the raid on Rochefort. During 1759 with a planned French invasion imminent, a large force of soldiers was kept there so they could be moved at speed to any destination on the southern English coast. The French called off their invasion following the Battle of Quibrin Bay. A later French invasion plan involved a landing on the Isle of Wight. Queen Victoria Queen Victoria made Osborne House on the Isle of Wight her summer home for many years and, as a result, it became a major holiday resort for fashionable Victorians including Alfred, Lord Tennyson, Julia Margaret Cameron, Charles Dickens as well as the French painter Berthe Morissot and members of European royalty. Queen Victoria died at Osborne House on the 22nd of January 1901, aged 81. During her reign, the world's first radio station was set up by Marconi in 1897 at the Needles Battery, at the western tip of the island. Modern history During the Second World War the island was frequently bombed. With its proximity to France the island had a number of observation stations and transmitters. It was the starting point for one of the earlier Operation Pluto pipelines to feed fuel to the Normandy landings. The Needles battery was used as the site for testing and development of the Black Arrow and Black Knight space rockets, subsequently launched from Woomera, Australia. The Isle of Wight Festival was a very large rock festival that took place near Afton Down, a West White in 1970. Following two smaller concerts in 1968 and 1969, the 1970 show was notable both for being one of the last public performances by Jimi Hendrix and for the number of attendees reaching, by many estimates, 600,000. The festival was revived in 2002 in a different format and is now an annual event. Physical Geography and Wildlife the Isle of Wight is roughly diamond-shaped and covers an area of 380 square kilometers, nearly 150 sq. miles. Slightly more than half of the island, mainly in the west, is designated as the Isle of Wight area of outstanding natural beauty. 
The island has 258 square kilometers of farmland, 52 square kilometers of developed areas, and 57 miles of coastline. The landscape of the island is diverse, leading to its soft-quoted description of England in miniature. West White is predominantly rural, with dramatic coastlines dominated by the chalk downland ridge, running across the whole island and ending in the Needles Stacks, perhaps the most photographed place on the Isle of White. The southwestern quarter is commonly referred to as the Back of the White because it has a unique social and historical background. The highest point on the island is St. Boniface Down, at 241 meters, which is a Marilyn. The rest of the island's landscape also has great diversity, with perhaps the most notable habitats being the soft cliffs and sea ledges, which are scenic features and important for wildlife, and are internationally protected. The River Medina flows north into the Solent, whilst the other main river, the Eastern Yar flows roughly northeast emerging at Bembridge Harbour at the eastern end of the island. There is another river in the west of the island called the Western Yar, flowing the short distance from Freshwater Bay to a relatively large estuary at Yarmouth. The south coast of the island borders the English Channel. Without man's intervention the sea might well have split the island into three, at the west end where a bank of pebbles separates Freshwater Bay from the marshy backwaters of the western yar east of Freshwater, and at the east end where a thin strip of land separates Sandown Bay from the marshy basin of the eastern yar east of Sandown. Yarmouth itself was effectively an island, only connected to the rest of the island by a regularly breached net neck of land immediately east of the town. The Isle of Wight is one of the few places in England where the red squirrel is flourishing, with a stable population, and unlike most of England, no grey squirrels are to be found on the island. There are occasional sightings of deer at large in the wild on the island rare and protected species such as the dormouse and many rare bats can be found. The Glanville fritillary butterfly's distribution in the United Kingdom is largely restricted to the edges of the crumbling cliffs of the Isle of Wight. A competition in 2002 named the Pyramidal Orchid as the Isle of Wight's county flower. The island has one of the most important areas in Europe for dinosaur fossils. The eroding cliffs often reveal previously hidden remains particularly along the region known as the Back of the Wight. Climate The Isle of Wight has a milder sub-climate than other areas of the UK, which makes it a holiday destination, particularly the resorts in the southeast of the island. It also has a longer growing season. The mean temperature is 13 degrees Celsius averaged over the year, and is 18 degrees in July and August. The microclimate of places such as Lower Ventnor is influenced by their sheltered position under the cliffs. The Isle of Wight is also sunnier than parts of the UK, with 1,800 to 2,100 hours of sunshine a year. Some years have almost no snow in winter, and only a few days of hard frost. Geology The Isle of Wight is made up of a wide variety of different rock types ranging from early Cretaceous times to the middle of the Paleogena. The northern half of the island is mainly made up of tertiary clays, with the southern half formed of Cretaceous rocks. All the rocks found on the island are sedimentary, made up of mineral grains from previously existing rocks. These are consolidated to form the rocks that can be seen on the island today, such as limestone, mudstone and sandstone. Rocks on the island are very rich in fossils and many of these can be seen exposed on the beaches as the cliffs erode. Lignitic coal is present in small quantities in seams on the cliffs and shore at White Cliff Bay and fossilized mollusks have been found there. Dinosaur bones and footprints can be seen in and on the rocks exposed around the island's beaches, especially at Yaviland and Compton Bay. As a result, the isle has been nicknamed Dinosaur Island. Along the northern coast of the island there is a rich source of fossilized shellfish, crocodiles, turtles and mammal bones. The youngest of these date back to around 30 million years ago. 
The geological structure is dominated by a large monocline which causes the marked change in age of strata from the northern younger tertiary beds to the older Cretaceous beds of the south. This gives rise to a dip of almost 90 degrees in the chalk beds, seen best at the needles. About 10,000 years ago, the great ice sheets of the last ice age melted and the sea level rose. Probably about 7,000 years ago, the Isle of Wight became separated from the mainland. Politics With a single member of parliament and 132,731 permanent residents in 2001, it is the most populous parliamentary constituency in the United Kingdom. Parliament has passed Section 11, Clause 6 of the Parliamentary Voting System and Constituencies Act 2011 to alter this. The Isle of Wight is a ceremonial and non-metropolitan county. Since the abolition of its two borough councils in 1995 and the restructuring of the county council as the Isle of Wight Council, it has been a unitary county. As a constituency of the House of Commons, it is traditionally a battleground between the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats. The current Member of Parliament Andrew Turner is a Conservative, and his predecessor Dr Peter Brand was a Liberal Democrat. The Isle of Wight Council election of 2013 saw the Conservative Party lose the majority which they had held since 2005 to the island independence. Independent councillors currently hold 20 of the 40 seats in the council. There have been small regionalist movements, the Vectors National Party and the Isle of Wight Party, but they have attracted little support in elections. Main Towns Newport, in the centre of the island, is the county town of the Isle of Wight and the island's main shopping area. Located next to the River Medina, Newport Quay was a busy port until the mid-19th century. Ride, the island's largest town with a population of around 30,000, is in the northeast of the island. It is a Victorian town with the oldest seaside pier in England, pier and miles of beaches. Ride is home to the ice hockey club Wide Link Raiders, who play in the third-tier English National Ice Hockey League. Cows is the location of the annual Cows Week and an international sailing centre. It is the home of the record-setting sailor Dame Ellen MacArthur. East Cows is famous for Osborne House, Norris Castle and is the home from 1929 to 1964 of Saunders Row, the historic aircraft flying boat. Rocket and Hovercraft Company. Sandown is a popular seaside resort. It is home to the Isle of Wight Zoo, the Dinosaur Isle Geological Museum and one of the island's two 18-hole golf courses. Shanklin, just south of Sandown, attracts tourists with its high summer sunshine levels, sandy beaches, Shanklin Chine and the Old Village. Wentner Haven is a small harbour built around a Victorian-style bandstand. Culture, language and dialect The accent of the Isle of Wight is similar to the traditional dialect of Hampshire, featuring the dropping of some consonants and an emphasis on longer vowels. It is similar to the West Country dialects heard in SW England, but less removed in sound from the estuary English of the Shea. As with many other traditional Southern English regional dialects and accents, a strong island accent is not now commonly heard, and, as speakers tend to be older, this decline is likely to continue. The island has its own local and regional words. Some words, such as nipper, nips, are still commonly used and are shared with neighboring areas of the mainland. A few are unique to the island, for example Ovener, Corkhead, and Grockle. Other words are more obscure and now used mainly for comic emphasis, such as Malashag. Some other words are girt meaning, large, namut and galibaga. Identity There has been and still is some confusion between the identities of the Isle of Wight as a separate county and, as it once was, a part of the nearby county of Hampshire. At least one mainstream newspaper article as recently as 2008 refers to the Isle of Wight in Hampshire. 
Prior to 1890, the Isle of Wight was normally regarded and was administered as a part of Hampshire. With the formation of the Isle of Wight County Council in 1890, the distinct identity became officially established. See also Politics of the Isle of Wight. In January 2009, the new flag of the Isle of Wight, the first general flag for the county, was accepted by the Flag Institute. Denizens of the Isle of Wight are sometimes referred to as Vectesians, Vectians or Corkheads.